hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about hyaluronic acid, probably one of the most famous ingredients in the industry, but exactly how to use it and all the expert tips is what I'm going to cover today. So the expert tips of me as a skin expert from over 30 years, I'm going to cover how to get the best out of them. Also, what's the difference between hyaluronic acid and sodium hyaluronate? What are all the different types and sizes of hyaluronic acid as well? And also the product recommendations. First things first, let's talk about hyaluronic acid. Let's talk about how does it actually function and operate in the skin. Now it's very well documented that hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times its own weight in moisture. But I want to show you just how hyaluronic acid works in the skin. So I've taken a dehydrated sponge and I'm just gonna show you with this bowl of water just exactly what happens. So as you can see, the dehydrated sponge is actually taking on board the water. So the sponge is actually expanding and it's taking on all that water. Now hyaluronic acid is very similar to that in the sense that it does take on board and act like a sponge. But what's really key is where does it get that moisture and water from? Now where it gets it from is actually the atmosphere. Lots of people believe that it comes from within the skin, but actually it's looking upwards. So it's looking at what is above it that it actually can draw in and pull in. It's really important that we understand the different sizes of hyaluronic acid. There are low molecular weight and there are high molecular weight, and they have two very different functions in the skin. So the high molecular weight is very much gonna stay on the surface levels of the skin the low molecular weight is going to go lower into the skin so it's going to go deeper into the layers of the skin high weight hyaluronic acid really helps limit transepidermal water loss so it's genius in that sense what is transepidermal water loss well basically it's when the skin becomes dehydrated in the upper levels of the skin that it signals to the lower levels of the skin to actually release more moisture now where does that moisture come from it actually comes from where the fibroblast cells are, which is in the dermis. And the fibroblast cells are what is making your collagen and your elastin and your gags. Now the challenge here is, if your skin becomes dehydrated in the upper levels, the transepidermal water loss starts to happen. And we start to pull moisture from deeper into the skin. And it's the fibroblast cells that become stressed because they become dehydrated. So high weight hyaluronic acid is brilliant because it actually limits and stops that transepidermal water loss. The low molecular weight is probably the most interesting. Now, the lower the molecular weight, the better. The deeper it's gonna go into the skin. And the more results you're gonna see on the appearance of lines and wrinkles. But it's also gonna be the lower is a better antioxidant. The lower is also gonna have other skin benefits, like it's gonna help with the skin's defense system. It's gonna help with inflammation. It's also believed to help really with rosacea, skins that suffer really with a lot of inflammation. It will also help with sun damage as well. So the lower the molecular weight, the better. How do we measure the molecular weight in hyaluronic acid? Well, it's measured with kilo daltons, KDA. Now, when you get the lower KDAs, like the 50 KDAs, that's when you're really, truly gonna see a difference on the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Now, the challenge that you have is that skincare brands don't necessarily need to tell you what molecular weight they're using. They certainly don't have to say what KDA they're using either. Now, there are some other things I need you to look out for when you're reading the back of the ingredient listing. So on the back of the tube or the jar, there may be things like hyaluronic acid, cross polymer. Now, I want to explain to you what a cross polymer is. It's basically where they have taken the ingredient hyaluronic acid and created a mesh. What this means is it actually has five times more power in the capability of the water binding effects in the skin. So you're definitely gonna fall in love if you see cross polymer in the inky listing. Another one to look out for is hydrolyze. Hydrolyze means where we have chopped up the large hyaluronic acid, the big molecule, and made it into lots of little molecules. That means it's gonna go deeper into the skin. So it's also a good one to look out for. Cross polymers and hydrolyzed. Now I've drawn your attention to the inky listing where all the ingredients are listed, you're now gonna to start to see 
the words sodium hyaluronate and you're going to be like but it says on the front of the package pure hyaluronic acid well in actual fact it is hyaluronic acid it's the salt of the hyaluronic acid sodium hyaluronate still has the ability to hold a thousand times its own weight in moisture it tends to be a smaller molecule so it's going to go deeper into the skin and actually it's brilliant at reducing oxidation in the skin so that oxidative stress that we know is caused by pollution so it's a brilliant ingredient so don't think oh it's not a hyaluronic acid because in essence it's a derivative of hyaluronic acid as we've discovered hyaluronic acid is drawing moisture from the atmosphere so there's a few things that i really want you to take note when you're applying hyaluronic acid first of all lots of myths around what to apply before hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid just needs to go on after you've cleansed your skin. Please don't put water on it. Remember, hyaluronic acid is drawing moisture from above. The water will make no difference to actually applying it. As we've discovered, hyaluronic acid is drawing moisture from the atmosphere. So hot, humid environments is the perfect atmosphere for hyaluronic acid. But where do you find that in the depths of winter? Your bathroom is exactly that. It's hot and it's humid and it will really aid the action of hyaluronic acid. On this huge piece of research on hyaluronic acid that took me months, one of the things that I really discovered was actually what's really important is after you've applied hyaluronic acid, what you actually apply afterwards is equally as important. And that's where hydrating sprays are key. Now I'm gonna do a second video all on hydrating sprays and which one is the best one to help and support hyaluronic acid. But in essence, what I want you to do is after cleansing, apply your hyaluronic acid in a hot humid bathroom and follow it with a hydrating spray. I also wanted to cover emollients. Now what's really important when you're using humectants like hyaluronic acid and glycerine, emollients are really key to help lock in and stop that water evaporation. So think of oils and think of creams as the second layer to make sure you lock in and really support the function of hyaluronic acid. These are my favourites that all contain sodium hyaluronate. So remember, sodium hyaluronate is that derivative of hyaluronic acid. It's a small molecule and it's going to go deep into the skin. Let's start with one of the easiest ways to get hyaluronic acid into your skincare routine and it's with Matisse. And Matisse, this is a high performance toner. So it's got all the benefits of being a toner, but it's also got that hyaluronic acid in it. So it's sodium hyaluronate, so a small molecule that's really gonna give you that plumping effect and really helping you to get that hydration into the skin, but simply when you're toning. Vichy Mineral 89 is brilliant. The fact that they contain 50 different minerals in here as well as sodium hyaluronate. I particularly like this because actually the minerals are important for your skin to actually function on a day-to-day -day basis. So as well as you getting your hyaluronic acid, you're also getting your minerals. I love products that are two in one. The Declio Antidote is exactly that. It contains sodium hyaluronate, so a derivative of hyaluronic acid to really help feed that skin with lots of moisture. But then also they've used ingredients to create a skin strengthening barrier to the skin. Now that's really important in today's environment where the skin is being attacked constantly, that skin's barrier is important to be reinforced daily. Now the ordinary is particularly interesting because it has the hyaluronic acid, but it also has the cross polymer. Do you remember I said the cross polymer is that mesh effect that helps to bind in that moisture. I was really impressed with Medicate Hydra 8 B5 Intense. Now this product is really cleverly formulated. They've used sodium hyaluronate, the derivative of hyaluronic acid, so that you're getting those small molecules going lower into the skin to really draw in lots of moisture. But then they've reinforced it with this triple action booster effect, using natural moisturizing factors to really support the action and the binding of the hyaluronic acid of a thousand times its own weight in moisture. But then they've also used vitamin B5 as well. Now all of these products are all products that contain hyaluronic acid and sodium hyaluronate. One of my favorites is Beauty Pie, triple hyaluronic acid. 
Now the reason I love this is there are three different sizes, two hyaluronic acid sizes and one sodium hyaluronate, meaning that we're gonna actually really be able to cover all the different layers of the skin. Now I really want to talk about Hadalabo. Now you'll see that I'm holding two. The white one is hyaluronic acid and sodium hyaluronate. So you're getting both of them and they're really high up on the inky listing. The red one is more the other way around. So it's got sodium hyaluronate first and then hyaluronic acid. It really is down to preference. The red one is more anti-aging, so they'd use hydrolyzed collagen as well. Whereas actually the white one is all about the hydration. I was really impressed with La Roche Posay. Now this product has hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid as well as sodium hyaluronate and also pro-vitamin B5. So this really is going to give you all of those skin loving, moisture quenching properties that we know and love and expect from hyaluronic acid. But because it's hydrolyzed, remember that's that chopping up so that we get smaller molecules to go deeper. I want to make sure that I cover all different price brackets and I was certainly impressed by the inky list. Now this is hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate and hyaluronic acid. So you really are getting the double whammy. Brilliant, affordable price and brilliant results. Now I've saved one of the best till last. It's SOS H2O. Now, you might not be familiar with this product, but this gentleman is a chartered scientist and chemist. Bruce Green has formulated for many skincare brands in the UK and in the USA. Now when he formulates, he formulates with the very best. 50 KDA molecular weight. That's a very low molecular weight, which is clinically proven to have an effect on the appearance of lines and wrinkles. So this is a beautiful creamy formulation using stem cell technology with white truffle. Now in his research, he's found that both the hyaluronic acid and the white truffle combined really boost the hydration levels of the skin, as well as working on the appearance of the lines and the wrinkles and really helping to work on the elasticity. I hope you've liked this video. You probably now realize there's a lot more to hyaluronic acid than meets the eye. We've now discovered what's the difference between hyaluronic acid and sodium hyaluronate. We've also now know what to look out on the inky listing. Let's look out for hydrolyze and also cross polymers as well. And also what we are very aware of now is the molecular weight. I would definitely recommend if you can get multi different weights, then that's gonna be even better for your skin. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment below on anything else you would like me to cover.